spring is in the air and a custom front porch is something that everybody is looking for. And today I'm going to show you how to make this awesome custom doormat. Hi again, I am going to show you guys how to make um, this really great um, doormat, welcome mat, um, using this, this is called a core, C-O-I-R doormat. And um, as always, links to buy all of the materials are down below. Uh, so using this doormat, it's like a really bristly, uh, natural hair fiber um, doormat. And using vinyl as a stencil, hope you guys can see that. And then using just really simple outdoor acrylic paint. Um, this is the Craft Smart brand, but uh, there's lots of different brands. Just make sure it says outdoor acrylic paint. Um, all you need is uh, a little stenciling brush, your paint, um, and to get your stencil on straight, I don't know if you guys use these, but this is, I can't live without this. This is the only way I can get my signs straight. So the first thing I do is I use contact paper on top of my stencil. Here I have my vinyl stencil. Let's apply it. And um, you can see it's really repositionable. Um, and this is where I use my ruler. I, this part, this lip here makes a straight line and I make sure that my letters are straight by lining them up here. Okay, so that's straight. And then I just try to measure the top and bottom to make sure I have about the same amount of space. Okay, that's straight. I'm just gonna press down really hard on my stencil. And believe it or not, it really grabs to this this mat. Check it out. Really hoping this camera angle doesn't give me so much of a double chin. Okay, I'm kind of messy, so um, these letters are pretty close, so I am going to put a layer of masking tape all the way around here. Um, so that I don't accidentally get some black on the edges. Okay, let's paint. Okay, I'm gonna stop right there because I also wanna show you another way you can do these. So you can finish this with paint and you can do this at your kitchen table and it's great. It does take a long time though to kind of make sure you're getting paint in there and it still looks like there's a bunch of spots that it didn't get and so I'm gonna show you another way that I like to um, do everything but it requires taking off the rest. I have this set up here. A few things about spray painting. You always need to stay at least 12 to 16 inches away and, and spray right directionally on. If you're spraying from the bottom or the top, it's gonna bleed underneath the vinyl. Also, if you do big, long ones like this, it'll bleed underneath the vinyl and have a real soft edges. We want really crisp, sharp edges. So we're gonna do short bursts over every letter. Primer can be funny, um, so definitely test spray before you do it. And then um, I don't have my garage door open right now and I'm not spraying outside, so I am gonna put a mask on. I'm gonna seal this up with some 
uh, polyurethane. Um, as always, my links are below. Make sure that you tell your clients, or if this is for you, that you shake it out. Every couple of weeks um, is how you clean it. And uh, these things shed, so make sure you're just kind of shaking it out every couple of weeks. That's really it. This should last a really long time. Um, 